Hey yo, what's up? What's going on, UFC fans? Guys, um, UFC fans all across the world, all across the globe. Um, man, this video right here is gonna be a, a you know, um, different kind of video on um, Fedor, man. You know, Fedor versus the UFC, obviously. You know, uh, over the last past few years, you know, we we've all been um asking ourselves a uh, a question um. You know, just, you know, really how good is this guy, you know, we call Fedor. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's just take a look at some things here. You know, let's see. You, you know, a lot of people say, you know, Fedor's good, but, you know, how good would he do if he were actually in the UFC? And, you know, I don't hold this recent loss against him, you know, that he's just had, you know. Um, but I still think he's one of the best in the world. But how good would he do? in the UFC against the supposedly top fighters in the world okay um let's see well I actually think that Fedor does pretty good if you put him in the UFC in fact I got Fedor beating pretty much everybody that you put him up against in the UFC you know but it's just like it just goes back to that thing you know what you say everybody has their days if you fight somebody on a on you know on a bad day, you might lose. If you fight them on a good day when you're feeling good and unstoppable, of course you're gonna win. But you know, you know, any fighter can beat anybody on any given day. You know, but I say 90% of the time, to me, Fedor is better than every every heavyweight in the UFC. Now, can he beat them in every parts of the game? No, not a goddamn chance. But overall, just a better fighter. And a, and a warrior in 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 the you know in the um you know just that uh that champion uh, state of mind, I think that Fedor can you know outclass any guy in the UFC. But do I think it's going to be a cakewalk for him? Hell no. Do I think it's going to be easy for him to to beat everybody? Not a goddamn chance, man. <laughs> I say you put Fedor up against Junior Del Santos, fucking absolute wrecking machine. Guys going in there knocking everybody out. Who do I think is going to win between him and Fedor? Of course, I got to go with Fedor because Junior Del Santos, I have ceased to see anything from him yet. You see what I'm saying? The only thing I've been able to see from this guy is, you know, a, a, a very powerful stand-up. You know, his skills are not that technical, but, man, let me tell you, this guy can absolutely deliver some pain if he lands with any type of punch. He obviously doesn't have the type of power that Shane Carter has. See, there's a difference when you tell me when, when I ask a guy, Obviously, Junior Del Santos has power, but Shane Carwin has knockout power. You know, it's a difference between pain and power. And I think Junior Del Santos, obviously, he's obviously knocked out some guys cold. But I just think that he has more of a painful punch than any guy in the UFC right now. It seems like if he punches you, it hurts more than anything. You know, it, it, the pain can actually be so bad to where it can make you give up. You know what I'm saying? Like, take Stephen Strude. You know, he didn't knock him out cold, but he was hitting him so hard. You know that you know the guy. You know just falling all over the place. You know he just has some very hard punches, but he has knockout power as well. So for that point, I'm going to have to go with Fedor because Fedor has that you know that one punch knockout power as well. His fans, his hands are faster than Junior Del Santos. Uh, I think his ground game is probably better. They say Junior Del Santos has a great ground game too, but I haven't seen it yet. But uh, again, don't want to take anything away from him. I just don't think a guy like that beats Fedor. You know, I think Fedor is more of a smarter fighter than he is. You know, I think Fedor's going to do okay if he goes to the ground. Uh, and I think Fedor will probably land a big punch like he did against Brent Rogers and or, or, or Arlowski and end up knocking him out. Hey, listen, guys, this video is going to end up going into part two. So hopefully you guys come over to part two and finish watching the videos before you leave a comment because that will be the smart thing to do. But uh, I'm going to still talk until my time runs out. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, man, you know, I put him up against a uh, Kent Velasquez. Who do I think will win out of Fedor and Cain Velasquez? Obviously, let's just go back to the Shuck Congo fight, you know. And Cain Velasquez is like one of my favorite heavyweights right now, you understand? So I'm not, you know, uh, going against him at all, you know. I'm just seeing, stating the facts. Cain Velasquez, his chin is very questionable, you know. But that being said, I think he is foremost the best wrestler in MMA. I don't again. I don't give a shit about Brock being a Division One champion. I don't care about any of that. You know how I feel about that. Guys can get better. They don't stay the same. I believe Cain Velasquez is the best wrestler in MMA right now. But that being said, do I think he can beat Fedor? No. 
He takes Fedor down. He's going to get submitted, okay? You know, Noguera was the foolish one who thought that he could stand with everybody and show his boxing he gets his ass knocked out. All he had to do was try to rush in, grab Kane, pull guard, or either try to get Kane to take him down. He could have easily maybe pulled off a submission. We don't know. Until we can see a guy with a top-level ground game go down there with Kane and try to submit him, and then we can, you know, we can, we can see, you know, but... Uh, I think Fedor could uh, um, you know, possibly pull off an arm bar or anything against Kane or knock him out for that matter because I think Fedor hits a lot harder than Shea Congo does. And, you know, Kane did go limp a few times with Shea Congo. It's just that Shea Congo was not able to follow up with anything he was able to land. So that being said, I think that Fedor could probably beat Kane Velasquez in a fight, possibly submit him or, you know, KO him. You know, um, but no, no form of fashion do I think it's going to be an easy fight for Fedor. You know, I believe that Fe uh, Fedor would just absolutely annihilate Brock Lesnar. He doesn't have a chance in that fight. Uh, these, these are the things, guys. These, these are the things that you need to be asking yourself. Um, you know, we could try to downplay Fedor and say that he sucks. Yeah, I, I sometimes I want to slap the guy because he doesn't fight the best competition and the top competition all the time. But if he if he were to fight the top competition, would he win? I think it's a good possibility that he would. You know, I'm not saying the guy's invisible because I, obviously he's not. He lost, right? Although I, yeah, that's another story. But yeah, man, part two coming up, man. Let's go.